Well, hello. Tuesday. No, it's Wednesday. Wow, it's already hump day. My first week back at work and things have been going very smooth. So, I wanted to take this lunch break, since it's really hot, to do a couple things. First, I just got a package from Steel Series. I finally purchased a new mouse. I've been needing a mouse for a very long time. The scroll wheel on my existing mouse has been fucked up where I would scroll up and then it would go up one tick and then go back down like two or three. I've been resorting to clicking on the scroll bar and dragging it manually, which is not really the way I normally use the mouse, so I didn't like it. And this is, I think, a reasonable purchase. I've had that mouse for like four to five years. I had a very basic Steel Series Sensei. I think it's like the 300, so I only bought it for 40 bucks. I pretty much tried to get the exact same one again if I could, but I got the Steel Series Rival 110. And it's the, uh... you know what's freaking weird about this mouse? I could not find a white version of it anywhere except for their website. So I paid $10 for shipping just so I could get a white mouse again. But I'm kind of glad. I actually don't think the shape of this mouse will be that different from my existing one. I really just wanted to keep it the same way as much as possible. So hopefully uh, it's not really an adjustment. So something I want to finally try today, which I haven't yet, I've been so lazy, but that cushion that I showed you guys that I purchased for motorcycle riding, I should have known right when I took it out of the box that it's just way too big and it's the wrong kind of cushion. It doesn't sink down at all so it elevates you and I can't have that when riding. I'm already on my toes when I put my feet on the ground so I haven't returned it yet. I need to box it up and I'm gonna see if I can get USPS to pick it up because I'm lazy as hell but yeah I'm going to finish taping everything and then applying the return label because I have like four to five more days before I'm reaching 30 day return and then I won't be able to get my money back and that was $30 so I shouldn't waste that. That's a lot of money. It's like three meals which is very meaningful so I can't do that. But I purchased another one from advice of my coworker, and it looks like this. So I was thinking that at the highest point like in the middle it seems like the right amount of cushion where my butt won't actually touch the seat and start getting strained. So I am going to take this out now and see how it feels to sit on when I'm stationary. Forgive this dirtiness on my mouse pad. That is kind of what sucks about a white mouse pad. It's really hard to keep it clean and I'm actually not sure how to properly wash this. My last one I had for a few years and I just bought another one. I'm awful, I could have washed it. But I am using my Rival 110 and I've been using it for about two hours. I really like the feel, but to be honest, I don't have high demands for my mouse and I like basic mice so it feels really good in my hands. I actually needed to move my wrist rest back that way it wasn't extra elevation from this because I was kind of feeling like my wrist was pushed up a little too high. This mouse might be lower in height than my Steel Series Sensei 310 or whatever it was so it feels pretty good. 
I have to get used to the side buttons. The feel is a little bit different and they're also less tall. Like my Sensei had uh, bigger buttons on the side. And the first mouse button on the side, this one feels really small. So at times like I feel like I right now have to put a little bit more effort into pressing it for it to go off. But right now, <laughs> An issue I'm having, which is kind of frustrating, is the Steel Series engine, the latest update. It is not installing properly for me right now. I guess the main thing that I really wanted from the configuration is <laughs> the color change. Um, you can kind of make it fancy, I think. But right now, I think my sensitivity is the same. I play on 1600 DPI. And not having the engine isn't a big deal, but it's kind of frustrating having issues installing some software like that. But so far I'm happy with it and I love that it's clean. My old mouse got so dirty and the rubber on the side over here got so wore down. So, so far I feel good about the purchase and I should have done it a long time ago. Okay, literally right after I recorded that, I closed out of WoW and then it installed just fine. That's really weird. I wonder if WoW had an issue with it, but all right, let's see what I can do fanciness here. What is this multicolor breathe? I start with light pink. You guys know I love my light pink. Then I can add another color. So let's see, green. I like, um pastel colors. I feel like they look really pretty. So maybe a lighter green? I'm not sure. Then we add a little peach. Peach. Mm. I don't know if that'll look that good. And then blue. Okay. Save. Wait, oh. Colors are too bright, too light. I guess I like that. It's actually, look how fitting it is with my keyboard. I honestly love this keyboard. I just wish that it was brown switches instead of red. Honestly, I love brown switches. Red can be very frustrating to type on, especially after you have experienced brown, but yay, beautiful colors. Okay, so I have never tried out the new hero yet, so I'm going to see what he's like. I'm going to max him out. Let's see, Stroke of Fate. Paints a path of ink with his brush, damaging and slowing enemies. The damage is increased with each enemy the ink hits. Let's see. Interesting. Summons a phantom that moves quickly towards the target, latching to it when she arrives. Once latched, the phantom damages and silences. That seems pretty cool, actually. Summon enemy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No. He needs some items. Okay. Now he's super tanky. Immediate silence. Oh. Oh, you can attack it. Interesting. Ink swell. An allied unit. I cast it on someone? Oh, yeah, I do. Enemies in range of the allied unit are damaged with inky tendrils. After three seconds, it triggers, applying damage and stun in an area around the unit in proportion to how much ink. Jesus. Complicated. <laughs> Enemies are damaged with inky tendrils. Okay. I get it. Depending on how much damage was done to enemies, 
the damage will be higher if it did more damage, and the stun area will also be higher. So, basically, when they shroud someone, you want to move away. Otherwise, they'll be stunned at the end of the duration. Okay, and what's his ultimate? Oh man, enemy, enemy. Alright, what, what the fuck does this mean? Nothing wasted. Let's see how big this 